Traveling expands the mind in a way that nothing else can. And for this reason, I want to share the learnings that I've learned during my travels through Central and South America. I've been lucky enough to learn from shamanic healers and different medicine people. So one thing that I found really interesting about the philosophy of Andean culture or shamanic culture is that they are very connected to the winds and the animal energies. So I'm going to talk to you about the different cycles, the four cycles that connect with different energies and life cycles that you may be feeling within yourself. The first one is the wind of the south, and that is the serpent energy. This is the energy of non-judgment and just being in the present moment, getting things done, going into your dharma, whatever you feel your purpose here is, and not being attached to, to an outcome, but rather just taking every day as it comes and doing what needs to be done to progress. The sliding through, shedding old things that no longer serve you, shedding that skin off the snake. According to shamanic spirituality, the next window is the window of the west, the wind of the west, and it's connected to the energy of jaguar. Jaguar connects the emotion and the mind. So what comes up here is being really fearless. If we go into yogic philosophy, it's the Manipura, it's the Durga, the tiger energy. And what we want to do here is not live in a life of fear. We want to bring in the opposite, which is love. When we go into a mind frame of fear and we're constantly fearing the worst case scenario, what we're actually doing, it's called a self-fulfilling prophecy. We're actually bringing that fear body into reality. So... What we want to do is look into the jaguar energy, bring in courage, and let go of fear. Letting go of fear allows you to step in your highest potential because when we live in a fear body, we're actually attracting negative energy. So going into your own power, the jaguar, the west energy, and saying, I am courageous, I am strong, I am powerful, and I'm living a life that allows me to go wherever I want with courage. The wind of the north is the hummingbird, this beautiful little bird that really tastes the nectar of all the flowers, tastes the sweetness of life. So when we're bringing in this energy, we're looking at the soul's perception. We're looking at the magic that we're able to manifest. When we really connect to the soul, the Atman, the spirit, we're able to create a life of abundance, looking at Lakshmi's energy of just creating whatever we want. What the hummingbird is saying is that life is a dream. And when we actually go into that mindset of creativity, we become a magnet for our desired reality. And what's interesting with the hummingbird is that it's actually more powerful than the Affirmations of the Courage Jaguar, when we actually just go inward and start trusting and manifesting through a vision of creativity what we want our life to come to or to be, things just fall into place to allow that to happen. So if you're wanting to pull up the creative energy of the hummingbird to taste the sweetness of life, do it with affirmations of the Jaguar and then creative meditation so really going into a quiet space and picturing what you want your life to look like and then allowing it to come to you that's the hummingbird cycle the wind of the north the last one is the eagle energy which is the pure energy the spirit energy according to quantum physics everything is 99 percent consciousness and one percent matter what the eagle energy says is that everything that we experience is an outward reflection of what we're holding within. So when there's people we don't like, what is it within yourself that you don't like that's being reflected back to you? When there's circumstances that you don't like, what have you been thinking that has created this reality? So in essence, according to Andean and shamanic philosophy, you are the change. So if we can have a practice of meditation, clearing out, getting rid of thoughts that no longer serve us, getting rid of the fear bodies, we're able to then create a reality that we enjoy. 
So in summary, we learn that the way of the serpent is creating change by force, looking at what the situation is, using our instincts, shedding things that no longer serve us and moving forward. The way of the jaguar is to create change through courage and will, actually really making the progressive movements to create the change that we desire. The way of the hummingbird is to create change through visionary experience, manifestations, attracting that life which you want to be living, your best life. And the last, the eagle, the way of the eagle is to realize that you are the change. You are a reflection of everything that's happening inward is happening around you outwardly. So it's so important to have that space of meditation, inward reflection, withdrawing the senses so that you are able to be the change. I hope that this has maybe given you some different insight into the existence that we are now in, which is so influenced by various cultures and philosophies around the world. And when we start realizing how aligned they are, perhaps we can live our best lives. Namaste. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if this was helpful and you want to find out any more information along the lines. Go to CosmicMoments.com to find out about retreats, workshops, and anything in your area that may be beneficial.